their stated policies. Okay, Bolshevik Bernie's socialist economic plans, trillions to, for a new Green Deal, and Biden promises his new Green Deal will go further than Ocasio-Cortez. Okay, no choice for health care, open borders amnesty, American taxpayer pays for it all, Senator? Yeah, Sean, you're exactly right. It's the most radical platform on which anyone has ever run for the office of president. That's one reason why you didn't hear the Democrats talking about their ideas two weeks ago at their convention. All they wanted to do was launch ad hominem personal attacks against the president. But as you say, the, uh, Joe Biden would raise your taxes by more than $4 trillion. He would open our borders by decriminalizing illegal border crossing. Then he would give illegal immigrants health care while taking away your health insurance on the job. These are radical ideas that we were exposed last week at the Republican National Convention. That's why you see Joe rushing out of his basement yesterday to give a slapdash speech in which he refused to condemn violent rioters on the radical left like Antifa or some elements of the Black Lives Matters movement because he knows that his agenda for America is being exposed by President Trump and the, by the Republicans. Okay, the speech was 24 minutes, Senator. Seriously. Uh, you know, Donald Trump is on the road every day. Donald Trump answers questions every day. This guy's only answered less than 50 questions since March. How does he get away with that? Well, he gets away with it because the media wing of the Democratic Party has got their partisan jersey on and it's deep blue and they are going to cover for Joe Biden and his radical agenda. Look, that speech yesterday was given to an empty room. It may have looked like it was on a factory with lots of people watching as watch President Trump's speeches, but it was to an empty room. And to give you a little bit of a peek inside the curtain today, they put a lid on at 9 a.m. That's when they tell reporters there'll be no more news, no more public appearances. With this president, those lids often don't come down until 11 o'clock or midnight at night when it's traveling. Uh, with Joe Biden, they say at 9 a.m. in the morning, there's going to be no more news. That's because they're trying to run out the clock using the media wing of the Democratic Party to conceal their radical agenda for America. But we started to expose it last week, and we will keep doing so over the next nine weeks. It also means, and tell me if I'm wrong, Senator, it also means that when people are voting, they might really want to pay close attention to their local Congress, the congressional races and Senate races. Cory Gardner, for example, uh, Martha McSally, uh, even Susan Collins, uh, who gave a phenomenal speech on Kavanaugh. Because uh, I'm thinking Democrats would want to impeach this president 400 more times if, God forbid, he's reelected and it's not a Republican House and Senate. <clears throat> Yeah, Sean, that's right. It's not just vital that we reelect the president, but that we win back the Senate and we take back the House. As you say, Susan Collins provided a critical vote to confirm Justice Kavanaugh. Cory Gardner passed a great conservation bill. So many of our Republican senators have done such a great job. If the Democrats take back the Senate, you know what radical agenda they're going to propose along with Joe Biden. All right. Thank you, Senator, for being with us. When we come back, 